Hello, and welcome to this quick walkthrough of our new Generation electric guitar. For Generation, we sampled a Fender Stratocaster, which is one of those guitars that really defined what an electric guitar is, as well as defining the sound of much of popular music for the last six decades or more. Because we wanted a classic sound, we fitted our Strat with Fender Custom 69 pickups, which they describe as the sound of Woodstock, no less. Also, we recorded the guitar direct, with each of the three pickups wired directly to its own output jack. So when you move the pickup switch, you are hearing the same changes that you would on the real thing. Notice that there are five pickup switch positions, but only three pickups. As you can see by the animation here, there are two in-between positions, where you actually hear two pickups at the same time, just like on a real Strat. There are also onboard effects. Here you can choose different amp modules, distortion units, and amp and speaker models. Okay, Generation has two playing modes, Solo and Strum. Let's look at Solo first. We'll start with the default clean setting. First, you have a choice of long notes or staccato for the basic tone. These are the key velocity articulation controls in the center. They'll be familiar to you if you have many of our other libraries. On the left are selections for high key velocity in red, and on the right are the selections for low key velocity in yellow. This graph in the center sets the key velocity switch points. Right now, we have slides on high velocities and mutes for low velocities. The space in between is the basic tone, either long notes or staccato, depending on what you've chosen up here. You could have one articulation for the whole range. or turn them off if you just want the basic tone. All of these articulations are available as key switches too. A key switch overrides the velocity settings. I'll play through them using key switches. The hammer-ons and pull-offs become slides at lower velocities. Now, I'll play something that uses velocity control slides and throw in some key switches. I'm going to switch to another snapshot here. Let's do chicken picking. You'll notice that I threw in some auto harmony with the key switch. You can also just latch the harmony on here. Here is where you select the harmony intervals. Which brings us to this, the master key control. This sets the key for the harmony, as well as the intervals used in things like slides and hammer-ons. Generation alternates between down and up pick notes, and the round robin reset determines the amount of time it waits between notes before resetting to a down pick. This controls the auto vibrato, and this connects the mod wheel to vibrato. Here's the pickup switch. Again, these are the real thing, and you can tell. Click on the Edit Articulations button and you have access to more controls for solo mode. 
Things like note values for hammer-ons and pull-offs, bend speed, vibrato speed and delay, and volume controls for the articulations. OK, let's move on to strum mode. First of all, you can just hit a key and generation will start strumming. Patterns will play in this octave. Just play the root note of the chord. There are single down strums on this octave and up strums on this octave. Notice that the single strums stop the pattern. On the left, we have 10 locations for strum patterns. You can change these using key switches. Each location has a menu that allows you to choose a pattern from the master list. The Edit Pattern button shows the editor, where you can tweak the patterns or create your own. The Edit Chords button shows you what's going on with the chords themselves. Let's load in another snapshot, Clean Strumming 1. Here is where you choose a chord variation for every root note. So if I play a G note in either the pattern octave or the single strums octaves, I get a G major chord. I can change that to, let's say, a minor ninth. Now every time I play a G, I get a G minor ninth. Let's go back to G major. Here's the best part. If I want to alter my G chord, I can just move the virtual fingers on my fretboard to change it. If I don't like my new chord, I can just hit the Reset Chord button. With the Chord Recognition button on, I can play my own chords in the higher octaves, and Generation will translate them into guitar chords. This works best if you release all notes in a chord before playing a new chord and play just slightly ahead of the beat. With the chord recognition button off, the upper octaves become key switches, which allow you to select chord variations during a sequence. So if I want to change my D major to a D suspended, I play a D note here and the key switch for suspended fourth up here. This way, I can get to any chord at any time in a sequence. We've also got a capo. With the Link Chords button on, the Master Key Control will choose chords based on the key you choose. The Arpeggiate button gives you the chords arpeggiated instead of strummed. The Anvil button changes everybody to power chords. You can drop tune generation by clicking on the Show Tuning button. There are three presets, Standard, Drop D, and Drop C. Keep in mind that just like a real guitar, normal chords may not sound the same. We have added some power chords just for this purpose, but you'll have to load them in. Click on the Global Settings button, click on Load Chords, Open the Chords folder and choose the chord set. Let's load in a snapshot that uses drop tuning. Click on the Effects tab at the bottom to get to the Effects panel. Here, you can choose different amp modules, 
and distortion units. Also, there's a compressor, a delay, pitch mod, reverb, phaser, and a wah effect. And you can choose a controller for the wah. The amp and speaker models were created just for generation, and the impulse responses were recorded by Scott Michael at Titan Studios in Seattle. There are three amp heads and three speaker cabinets that you can mix and match, as well as a combo amp. As you can hear, there are a lot of sounds you can get from this setup. Each amp was recorded through each speaker, so what you're hearing is really how the different combinations of amp heads and speakers interact. They were recorded with close and room mics, which you can control here. Here are the effects presets, which you can edit and save. Thank you for watching. Generational Electric Guitar is available only at indigenous.com.